Sun Devils getting ready for the last ever Pac-12 men's basketball tournament. Uh, tomorrow gets underway in Vegas. The Devils will have six-seeded Utah in the final game of the Wednesday slate. Here to talk about all things ASU is the head coach of the Sun Devils, Bobby Hurley, who joins us for his weekly visit on the Arizona Sports Line. Bobby, good morning. Good to be with you guys. Uh, Hi, Bobby. Go, before we get to the uh, the tournament and and uh, what happened on the court in Los Angeles last weekend, let's let, let let's address the elephant in the room. And I know you talked to the media about it yesterday. The Jose per- Perez situation scores twenty five points last Thursday against USC, leaves the team personal reasons. Already playing professionally now in the Dominican Republic, and I know you had talked about it, it didn't come as a complete surprise, but that doesn't make it an easier situation to deal with, does it? Well, no, but it's uh, obviously very, very unique uh, circumstances. Uh, I, you know, I've never uh, experienced something like that before, but uh, <laughs> I, you know, I understand, you know, where Jose was coming from in terms of what he needed, what he needed to do for his family, and he's, uh, you know, an older player. He had an opportunity, to, uh, you know, to make uh, pretty good money, and uh, you know, I know he struggled with the decision and what what he should do, and. Uh, we had a, you know, we had a conversation about it. We, I thought he would uh, stay the course and finish the season out. As it turned out, um, you know, he uh, ultimately you know, made a decision with, in the best interest of him and his family. Was the team now, like we pointed out, he was coming off a twenty-five point game. Was there was there any urgency on the team's uh, behalf to get him at that very particular point in time? I just think it was time sensitive. His um, the the contract that he had it was uh, predicated on him uh, most likely getting there uh, as soon as possible and there wasn't any more time for him uh, to put it off and that's uh, you know that's all the information that I was able you know to gather uh, you know from that situation with the NIL in place now transfer portal in place is this just a, another thing just out of left field that you didn't have any idea that you'd have to deal with and do you think this is something programs are going to have to deal with moving forward Bobby I mean, I, it's it's a new world we're in, and it's uh, you know the players now are uh, you know a lot more savvy in terms of the business side of things, uh, and it's it's not a it's not what it was years ago certainly. So you have to be prepared for the unexpected, and you know I, I give credit to to my team. I think that they really responded well to this uh, situation, and. You know, I thought we played a pretty good basketball game versus UCLA. We just unfortunately, at two different times, uh, struggled in that game. We had a uh, an 18 to 0 drought in the first half, and we were able to overcome that. Uh, and then in the second half, we just uh, we couldn't make a free throw for a period of three or four minutes, and that cost us. All right. So, what do you uh, what do you want this your team focusing on in Vegas? How do you want to uh, possibly end this season? What are you looking for from them? Well, I mean, I just think a tremendous fight. Uh, you know, I want us to go there and compete, and uh, you know, look at look at this and approach it. You know, one game at a time, obviously. But uh, we know where we stand. We know that our only path to the NCAA tournament is is by winning this tournament. And uh, you know, this is March Madness. This is what the guys have been uh, you know working towards since June. So you know, I would anticipate based on the body language and you know the clues that i'm seeing watching them practice that they're preparing the right way to uh to give everything we have uh tomorrow versus utah bobby hurley the head coach of the arizona state sun devils our guest here as he is every week on bickley and Murata mornings about the opponent uh utah they're the sixth seed you're the 11th seed but you've had success against them you beat them twice been over 80 points um which is is rare territory for your team this year offensively but you've been able to accomplish that twice. Does that does that give you more confidence going in? But then there's always on the flip side of it too, Bobby, the adage it's really hard to te- beat a team three times in, in one year. How do you reconcile all of those things? Yeah, I mean that's that's a good point. It's it's uh, it's what gets talked about and discussed a lot. You know, the psychology of 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 that situation, having beaten them twice, and does that give you more confidence or? You know, or does that make it more difficult somehow? As Utah would would make adjustments to, you know, the games that we were able to uh, to win. I, I just think each game is different. Uh, I, I think that, you know, it's going to be who executes better. You know, can we guard the three point line? 
you know, can we take away Carlson in the paint and Keita? Uh, can we effectively rebound with them because they're one of the tallest teams in, in our conference? And then, you know, can we apply some pressure because that – that was something that was very, uh, very key for us in, in both our victories. I read a, I read a story, and it seems like we can't do one of these visits without bringing up NIL. But I, I read a story that donor fatigue is is going to be a real, real issue uh, for schools, and those are for the schools that 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 where the expectations are super high and they don't get the results, and and it's going to be hard for coaches and programs to keep going back to that well. Is there a better, cleaner solution? Nick Saban just came out and said part of the reason I'm tapping out is is you can't coach these kids anymore. The level of entitlement ha- has gone up significantly. Yeah. Uh, how much of that is in the air for you and in what you've got to deal with? Well, I mean, we we, we, we operated at, at the best level we could with what we had to work with. Uh, with that being said, I think uh, my job description has changed. I have to identify and encourage people to step up and help the program if they you know if they want to see uh arizona state basketball team play in the ncaa tournament then then we need help uh you know financially to to make that a reality you know the reality is this year i i have three starters that are playing at texas tech and uh and nc state three guys who were very important to uh an ncaa tournament run last year we weren't able to retain those guys we we've worked extremely hard and there are people that that are stepping up to care about Arizona State basketball and I already have more resources for this coming season to work with than I had last year so and and I'm actively talking to people and encouraging them you know to uh, to donate to our program Bobby Hurley our guest uh, as the Sun Devils get ready for the Pac-12 tournament starts tomorrow in Las Vegas they'll take on Utah before we let you go with the change in the roster, and I know you dealt with it Saturday against UCLA, uh, does that mean a much bigger role for Kamari Lands, or how else uh, can, can you attack uh, the, the the personnel shortage right now, Bobby? Well, I think you you, you need to rely on your core, and, and I think that's going to be Adam Miller and Jemiah Neal and mm-hmm. Frankie Collins. Those guys got to maybe take their game to to a different level. Uh, you know, need need Alonzo Gaffney just to do a bunch of different things, block shots, rebound, uh, you know, score around the basket a little bit, uh, hit a, an occasional three. I, I need all those those four guys to be the best possible version of themselves. And then you, we need a wild card guy to, to emerge, uh, whether that's Kamari or Akil Watson or, or Braylon Green. And, uh, and then what would be ideal is, is just getting – more interior uh, pop from a guy like Sean Phillips or Brian Salabonga. We need to be able to throw the ball inside a little bit. We we did that with Jose. Jose would isolate and back down, and we could play a little bit of inside out through him, and he could get to the free throw line and score around the basket. We need someone someone of, of our front line that could get us a basket, you know, in, in a tough spot. So. You know, I think we need a little bit of help from everybody here. Everybody's got to do a little bit more. Bobby, thanks as always for, for the time. Luck, we appreciate man. it, and good luck in uh, uh, Vegas. Appreciate it, guys. Thank Have you, good. Bobby Hurley, head coach of the Arizona State Sun Devils, our guest every week on the Arizona Sports Line. What a year! <laughs> just, yeah, yeah, I'm seriously. It's That's just, one it's, way to put it. It's like that. It's like that whack a mole game, right? Just something popping out of. It, it, yeah. You got NIL, your team's transferring, as you mentioned, all yeah. over the country. Uh-huh. And you find a guy at the 11th hour that comes in and actually helps your team and has become a leader and one right. of your top scorers. And then, oh, time-sensitive professional offer. Right. Got to go. I've, I've got to go now. Wait, you, you can't hang around for one more game, for Jeez. one more turn? Nope, got to go. Yeah, it's uh, – it is a – I feel, I feel horrible for Bobby Hurley. I, yeah. I feel horrible I, for college coaches everywhere. Well, and just – how about ASU athletics? What you said yesterday, I have not been able to get that out of my head. When you look at the women's basketball program, the men's basketball program, the football program. Yeah. Brought to you by the number 11. There's only one. <laughs> There's only one way to go up. Uh, oh, You're uh, number one. <laughs> twice. Right, twice. Right. Right. Exactly. Yikes. Thanks for watching Bickley and Murata. Click to see the latest Bickley Blast and hit the button in the middle to subscribe to Arizona Sports.